بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از عمران علی خان لیکچرر ایٹ دی ڈپارٹمنٹ آف انگلش گوہاٹ یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی گوہاٹ اٹ از تھرڈ پارٹ آف اور سیونتھ لیکچر دی ڈسکشن ایجنڈا فار ٹو ڈیز لیکچر از ڈسکشن اباؤٹ دی امپارٹنٹ کریکٹرس اینڈ دی سمبلس یوزڈ ان لارڈ آف دی فلائز Uh, characters uh, we will be focusing on four important characters Rolf, Jack, Piggy and Simon these are diverse characters having unique feature of their own personality for example Rolf is the protagonist of the novel He was elected as a leader of the Boys in the novel. Right from the very beginning when the Boys arrive on the island, so it is Rolf who stresses the importance of order. When, uh, when Piggy finds a conch, so and Piggy tells him how to blow the conch, and how it can be how it could be used as a trumpet to summon the boys for assembly for a meeting so the first the ralph is the first one who stresses the importance of order uh, he is the primary representative of civilization uh, while most of the other boys initially they were concerned with playing Uh, having fun and avoiding work it is ralph who sets them out to build herds because he tries to maximize the chances of being rescued uh, but gradually uh, ralph is uh, gradually the group declines into savagery and Rolf's position also dis- declines while that of Jack's rises. It is because Rolf uh, thinks ahead of the present situation. Uh, he, uh, he, he, tries to, uh, he tries to bring the ways that can uh, create opportunities for the boys to be rescued from the island while other boys they are oblivious of their future they just involve themselves in the present pleasantries of the island um, as a result most of the boys except piggy leave Rolf's group and they, joins, and they join Jack's group and Rolf is left alone. Uh, towards the end of the novel, we see that he runs for his own life and is ultimately saved by the captain. Uh, Rolf's commitment to civilization and morality is strong. Uh, his main wish is to be rescued and returned to the society of adults. Although he is rescued and returned to civilization when he sees the naval officer, he weeps with the burden of his new knowledge about human capacity for evil. Then we have Jack. <clears throat> Jack is the antagonist of the novel. And he is the major representative of the instinct of savagery, violence, and the desire for power. And this is evident in the first chapter when he expresses his desire to be the leader. of the boys 
he is anti antithesis of Rolf. Rolf is for unifying the boys, while Jack is to make them wild. Uh, Jack, Jack is upset when he loses the election to Rolf and continuously confronts Rolf's authority. Though, at, uh, in the beginning of the novel, he is an ordinary civilized boy. In school, he was the leader of the choir boys. And when he sees a pig, he is unable to kill it. So, he is obsessed with killing a pig. So, he is obsessed with hunting and devotes himself to it. So, he pants his face like a barbarian and giving himself over to bloodlust. So this painting like a barbarian is also is having a symbolic value that Jack has rejected the civil, civilized society from where he came. He has uh, a sort of uh, he has made a sort of rebellion against those values in which he used to live. Uh, as a result, he becomes more savage. The more savage he becomes, the more he is able to control the rest of the group. Uh, uh, Rolf's position became weak because uh, he didn't have the assertive position to control the boys while Jack asserts his authority over the boys by using violence by using force and as a result indeed apart from uh, <coughs> Rolf Simon and Piggy the group largely follows Jack in casting of moral restraint and embracing violence and savagery then we have Mr. Piggy. Piggy is an intelligent boy uh, who is the voice of reason in the novel. It is Piggy who tells Rolf how to blow a conch and how it can be used to summon the boys. And it is Piggy who is always ready to give advice to Rolf. Though he is fat, his eyesight is short, and though the joke of the other boys is a constant source of psychological pain for him, Uh, he suggests using the reason to counter the situation in the island. That is the reason that he is always Rolf's advisor whenever Rolf needs an advice. Uh, Piggy is also the defender of law and discipline even in the most tragic situation before his death he is still asking the boys to think about the laws and discipline instead of fighting so here we need to focus on the commitment which Piggy had to discipline and law because during a moment of crisis extreme crisis we can say that when other 
the whole situation is against him so he is holding conch and try to address the boys and try to make them realize the importance of law and the importance of discipline but unfortunately the wild barbarian failed to notice the importance so uh, they uh, they kill him by uh, throwing a big rock uh, on him from the above then we have simon uh, simon is entirely different from other boys he is having a kind of spiritual human goodness that is unmatchable in the novel and that is opposite of jack's evil he is deeply connected with nature the other boys they abandon moral behavior as soon as civilization is no longer there to impose it upon them they are not naturally moral rather the threat of punishment has conditioned them to act morally to an extent even the seemingly civilized rolf and piggy are the product of social conditioning as we see when they participate in the hand dance here <clears throat> william golding wants to give us a message that human civilization that human impulse towards civilization is not as deeply rooted as the human impulse towards savagery unlike all other boys on the island simon acts morally not out of guilt or shame but because he believes in the value of morality that is the goodness of heart his morality is unaffected by the social conditioning he behaves kindly toward the younger children and he is the first to realize the problem posed by the beast and the lord of the flies that is the monster on the island is not a real physical beast but the savagery the savage impulse that is within each human being uh, the pig's head on the stake symbolizes this idea as we see in simon's vision of the head speaking to him the idea of natural evil within each human being stands as the moral conclusion and central problem of the novel against this idea of evil simon represents a contrary idea of essential human goodness however his brutal murder at the hands of other boys indicates the scarcity of that good amid an overwhelming abundance of evil so he it is simon who discovered the fact about the beast that beast does not exist rather it was the body of parachutist who was laying there in the mountain so when he discovers that that the, the parachutist is actually a person not a beast so he runs to give 
this news of discovery to the boys and the boys are busy in hunting dance so when they notice someone is coming towards them so they mistook they mistook him for a beast and they killed him so it was like a goodness a minor goodness is surrounded by overwhelming abundance of evil so uh, what william golding wants to convey that human impulse is towards savagery and when society loses control over individuals so individuals will become more savage more unruly and it will be difficult to control them and as a result the society will drift into anarchy and chaos so briefly reviewing what we have discussed the four important characters the first one is rolf who stands for civilization who stands for order who stands for discipline then we have piggy who is the voice of reason common sense and then we have jack jack is the representative of savagery the wild instinct and simon stands for essential goodness which according to william golding is curse so these four characters represents the human instincts for order for reason for savagery and for goodness this this was all about the characters now coming towards symbols the important symbols used in the novel are the conch the fire piggy's glasses the beast lord of the flies these are the important symbols used in lord of the flies these symbols have important message for the readers for example the conch a conch is used to call the boys to order and the rule of the conch is that nobody may speak unless and until holding the conch and once someone is holding the conch uh no one can interrupt him thus the conch represents society's rules when roger throws the stone at piggy the conch exploded into a thousand white fragments and ceased to exist thus breaking of a conch represents the end of order and discipline on the island then we have fire <clears throat> the symbol fire has a dual meaning in the beginning the signal fire is needed for rescue but the first time it is lit it stretches too and a boy is missing so it becomes a symbol of hope 
and destruction. The fire is also used by Jack in the manhunt for Rolf, which paradoxically leads to the discovery of their place and to their rescue by the naval officer. Again, it becomes a symbol of both destruction and hope. However, if we think of the world to which the boys are taken after rescue, is it safe and peaceful world? Unfortunately, the world of adults is not better or safer from the island. The rescue turns out to be nuclear destruction. The third one is piggy's glasses. Piggy's glasses have a symbolic value. They are symbol of reason and intelligence. And this symbolism is reinforced by Piggy's character. The glasses are for seeing, which is the symbol of knowledge. The boys use them to start the fire. The breaking of the glass is the symbol of, the breaking of the glasses represents the end of reason and the triumph of irrationality. Another important symbol is the beast. The boys are afraid of the beast without seeing it. They feel that it exists somewhere. Simon tells them that probably it just exists in their minds and that it doesn't have a physical reality. As the boys grow in savagery, they are more certain of the reality of the beast. They try to please him by presenting offerings to him. When the boys see the dead parachutist, they identify him as the beast. But Simon confirms that there is no beast when he knows the reality about the parachutist. The beast has no physical reality, but it is still there because it is the evil that exists in the boy's mind. The next symbol is the Lord of the Flies. This is the pig's head on the stake. It is the head that speaks to Simon, telling him that he is the beast and that it lies inside every human heart. It is the physical manifestation of the beast, a symbol of evil. In fact, the name Lord of the Flies is a literal translation of the name of the biblical name Beelzebub, a powerful demon in hell sometimes thought to be the devil himself. So, uh, let's briefly review the symbols. The first one is the fire it stands for hope and destruction the second conch represents order and rule the glasses the symbol of reason the symbol of knowledge the beast the evil instinct inside every human being and the Lord of the Flies, the devil, it represents the devil, which is, which is incarnation of human desire for savagery. So this was all about today's class. Uh, see you next time. Uh, thank you.